Uh, hello there. Today's theme is going to be similar to um, the Babadook episode um, that I just recently made. Uh, except this time, I'm going to be talking about the nun, uh, specifically known as Valak. I didn't watch the movie. I don't like horror movies. Horror movies are stupid, in my opinion. However, I'll, you know, I'll skim through it <clears throat> and uh, sort of learn sort of what this thing is. Uh, again, it's strictly from a metaphorical point of view. Um, these creatures do not exist. Not in the sense that other people may believe. Okay, so we're talking about nuns, uh, which are bitter old women. They've always been bitter old women. Crows. Old crows, that's what they are. Um, you know, um, they are in positions of society, and they don't necessarily have to be a nun. I mean, according to this infographics episode, which is the fast way to learn things, um, Valak is a male demon. Uh, nuns are usually associated with being women. But, uh, you know, for whatever reason, Valak chose the form of a woman. Perhaps because it's a cross-dressing homosexual. I don't know why. Anyway, they always give them a bunch of absurd powers that they can do, like the ability to possess, um, the ability to terrorize, and the ability to, um, you know, um, bring instinct of um, suicidal tendencies, murderous rampage, whatever. Um... What I'm going to say about all this is it is indeed, in fact, a metaphor. Because in the mental health system, what their philosophy is, and I have said this before, is that they actually deliberately induce uh, fear, un uneasiness, discomfort, pain. They do all these things. And the feeble-minded... Uh, they usually turn to, you know, their instinct, which may be to self-harm or commit suicide. And then, therefore, they get roped into the system tighter, and then the treatment actually gets worse for them. Uh, there's no doubt about it. The mental health system is a, is a horrible place, uh, ran by horrible people. And, um... They have this tendency to believe if you push them a little bit and they react a certain way, therefore, you know, they were prone to be in that state to begin with. Therefore, the escalation in treatment is what, it is what they need, what they deserve. Because uh, I got to tell you something about uh, religion and nuns and things like that. They are very, very, and the mental health system, very sanctimonious. They think that whatever they do is perfectly fine, and even the smallest digression from someone else is the worst thing in the world. That's how they like to think, because then it gives them the pretext for them to do whatever they want, like give lobotomies or have people tied up to walls or, you know, do all kinds of horrible things to them. Um, and it really doesn't take much to really piss these people off, and it's disgusting that they even live in our so in our society. Um, as far as Vlack being a male, um, I'm inclined to believe it's not. I mean, there are plenty of bitter old women out there that are in positions of power that do not like men. And they have their reasons, maybe personal experiences of whatever nature. Or they review the history of mankind and they quickly discover that a lot of the horrible things that have happened in the world, like world wars and things like that, are actually mostly men's fault. Probably like 99% men's fault. Um... 
And then, you know, they look at every single scenario of where bad things happen, you know, riots at hockey games, uh, you know, uh, murder statistics, um, uh, drink and driving, you know, all that sort of stuff. And then it's usually the men that get the blame for that because historically it mostly has been men. Uh... Yeah, the thing is, like, I think, you know, when you're born, you're born with a clean slate. That's that's my opinion. But, you know, others do not share that because they can't get over their own bias. Uh, and, uh, you know, um, this actually isn't a very good metaphor, to be perfectly honest with you. This Vlack and the Nun and all that sort of stupid stuff. Uh Perhaps there's more to be learned about this uh, crazy bitch who, who can't stand men in particular. Um, but I don't know, and I don't have the inclination to learn. Um, it's really, you know, it, it more or less has the same sort of powers as ba Babadook. And, you know, I said my piece about that, so... You know, people really enjoy horror movies and I don't understand why that is they're not good and every person I've ever met in my life who really enjoys horror movies that's their thing has been a fucking idiot I mean sure you take Christopher Lee and the mummy and it's you know that's kind of you know that's kind of fun or you take um uh, Gary Oldman in um you know, his vampire movie, and that was an alright movie, but, um, as a whole, like, the monsters they're coming out with, like, the Blair Witch, or the girl from the ring, and, you know, it's like, this isn't what I'm into, this isn't, this is, uh, you know, something created to explain something else, but in such a stupid way that, uh, it's hard to explain what it is exactly. Because it's open to interpretation, of course. And many people have had this conversation long before me. But it's important that I have it because I believe that, uh, from a metaphorical standpoint, I ran into the Babadook the other day. But that's, uh, you know, not because I believe such a creature exists. It belie I believe it because other people believe it and they use it as a pretext to, I don't know, uh, cause people grief. Like me. Like, um,. Uh, you know, I've gone through a lot of physical pain. I don't really like talking about it too much, but, uh, you know, there are other people who would not have handled it as well as I have. And, um, you know, like, uh, I'd rather they stopped doing that to me, but, uh, they're assholes and they have a tendency to just do whatever they want. Um, and to me, that's because they're stupid. They're thick headed, very stupid people. And this nun, the Valak, you know, like I'm supposed to be scared of a stupid old bitch. I don't care what power she thinks she has. Um, yeah, I'm, I don't get intimidated that easily. Uh, and this is good for coming from a guy who's gone through a lot Um, as far as specifically what exactly this nun can do, I'm not really entirely sure. I mean, I know some things, but, uh, you know, the ones that have wormed their way through into the bureaucracy, who knows exactly what they can do on paper and things like this, and, you know, they only give you the dummy version so that you have very little idea of what they get up to. But, I mean, the emotion you see from this character on, you know, the television, if you watch the movie, if you're going to watch the infographics or wherever the source, it is there. And this thing exists in society and it has its own biases. And most of the time, it's a bitter old lesbian that doesn't like men and hates men and blames us for all the world's problems. And it's just like, I didn't see you create a better world, now did I? 
you clearly haven't done that yet, so it sh says something about you, doesn't it? That maybe you're part of the problem, too. Um... Yeah, they said in the infographics episode that, uh... The demon was released when uh, World War Two and the bombing of churches and things like that. That sort of happened. That that did happen. And um, you know, this apparition uh, was able to escape hell in doing so. Um, the thing is, it's more like it's been used as an excuse. For this apparition to show up. Rather than the actual reason this apparition showed up. Um, I mean yes. World War II was a horrible thing. And a lot of people who know me. Know I collect World War II stuff. And I like hockey. Where you know bad things have also happened there. Don't have a car. Uh, but I do drink. And I probably should stop drinking. For now anyway. Uh, because uh, my body can't handle it. Not at this state, not with the kind of medications they got me on. Um, you know, but someday I won't have to put up with that. And, you know, they like to associate a lot of things with me that aren't true. And it's all to establish a pretext for them to do whatever it is they want to do. And the problem is they look as though they do things on a whim. But in reality, uh, they bicker amongst themselves so much, it takes them forever to do anything. They, so that's why they make the facade of making look like the decisions are done on a whim in front of you, so that you're convinced that they can are all powerful, they can wave their hand, and you know that's what happens. But really, they're bickering amongst themselves. For weeks, months, years even. That means they're conjuring up ways of getting you. Now that's pretty sadistic behavior now, isn't it? Especially when those things involve uh, mental health patients being put through pain. And then them turning around and going, Oh, well, uh, look at him, he looks depressed because he's uh, got all these uh, physical ailments. Excuse me, you probably cry like a bitch if you got a paper cut. But here I am, and I've had it for my sore throat for seven years, and I, you know, don't get to talk about it with anyone, really. And, you know, it's like, you still go, well, he's... Are you a fucking retard or what? Is that really your game plan? And, you know, that's not strictly speaking about this nun. Uh, however, um... Uh, they are a dumb bunch of people who run mental health. They're stupid. And uh, if they think I'm intimidated by them, I'm not. I mean, uh, it is an unsettling thought, unnerving even. But uh, they got nothing. And uh, since they have nothing, uh, their powers are quite limited. Anyway, uh, it's been fun talking to you guys, and uh, I'll see you later.